I'm going to take two little cups and I'm going to fill those with Epsom salt. But first I'm going to zero it out because I want 250 grams of Epsom salt. And that's two. And now it's bouncing. I might have to just put a pinch in there. Let's see. There we go. 250 gram. Okay, once the water reaches 150 degrees, I'll pull it off the burner and I'll put the Epsom salt in there. You have to get the water hot enough for the Epsom salt to dissolve in the water. And then I'll let the water cool off. And this is all you're going to need for just one battery. It's 250 grams of Epsom salt and 16 ounces of distilled water. Here's the first 8 ounces. Here's the second 8 ounces. So I should have 16 ounces of water in here. And that should be a good enough to regenerate one battery. Now I'll go ahead and I'll turn the burners on and let it boil until it hits 150 degrees. Okay, I've got a thermometer in there. Okay, when that thermometer hits 150 degrees, we'll check it with another thermometer, just to be sure. Okay, our water has reached over 150 degrees. Even this thing here says it is 195, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to turn it off. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the Epsom salt in it and let it dissolve. I'm going to let it cool off because you don't want it to put it in the battery with it this hot. You just want to make sure that all the Epsom salt dissolves. And then let it cool down. And while this is dissolving and cooling down, I'll go ahead and go clean up the battery and show you how to do that before we add this uh, liquid to it. So that's it. This is how the solution is mixed together. You may need more for bigger batteries. Like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. Thanks for watching.